I'm Andrew Kirsch from just under a decade. I was an intelligence officer with the Canadian Security Intelligence Service. And there was an article in the paper today that said the University of Waterloo sent out a note to their community advising that if someone from CSIS, someone like me, intelligence officer, uh, came to talk to you, that you do not have to speak to them. And I'm here to tell you that they're right. You don't have to, but please do. Um, and why not? CSIS is mandated to investigate threats to the security of Canada. Those threats include things like foreign influenced activities, espionage, and sabotage. And obviously, our universities, our research institutions, our academics can be targets of those types of threats. So intelligence officers like myself uh, go out and talk to people in the communities to gather information on these threats and are asking for help. Look, I get it. it you can be skeptical. Please, uh, when I went out and knocked on doors, the first questions I always got were, why are you here? What do you want? What do you want with me? Um, and I don't think I have anything of use. And that might be true. But look, why don't you give the person an opportunity to talk and to explain why they're there and why they want to talk to you and what they think that you might have information-wise that can be of assistance to a national security investigation. See, this is mandated to keep us safe. And they rely on people in the community to do that, for information, for help. And they knock on doors and ask for it very openly. They will say, hello, my name is Andrew. I'm here from CSIS and I need your help, right? And that's what they're looking for. So I get very uh, discouraged when I hear that organizations are saying, hey, look, you don't have to talk to CSIS. It kind of implies some kind of negative or nefarious intent. And it's the furthest thing from the truth. The people that are talking to you is because they think that you can and may be willing to assist. You know, CSIS releases, uh, there's some reporting. I'm going to post on my website that says, these are the types of things that they are looking for. These are the kind of threats that uh, we feel that research and ac academic institutions are facing. Please check it out. Please read it. Because you know what? If you see anything of concern, if you th see anything of note, reach out to CSIS. Look, I would much uh, prefer if the University of Waterloo and others sent a note out to their community saying, these are the things that we are concerned about. And if you see anything, please contact our local research security department or CSIS, right? Uh, but of course they won't do that, um, although they should. Instead, we rely on the intelligence officers to go and find those people and knock on their doors. And that's what they're doing. So all this to say, you don't have to talk to CSIS, but please do. Uh, and why not? And give them a chance. They're intelligence officers just like me. We're out there uh, investigating threats, looking for help and please help. If you have any questions, you can email me info at kirschgroup.ca. Um, you can like and subscribe. Uh, you can ask the questions and until then stay tuned and stay safe.